That's it. I'm not going to stand for this anymore. Uh, okay, maybe I will. I'm going to show you how to make an airplane stand that's adjustable. Stick around. Welcome everybody back to Just Plain Crazy. I'm Brendan. Thanks for joining me again. We are down here in the layer today and I am going to show you how to make a multi-purpose adjustable plane stand and some of the benefits of it. So let's get to it and check this out. This is the stand that we are going to build today. I am going to show you how to build it. It is very quick, it is very simple, and works extremely well. The nice part about this stand is that we are going to be able to adjust it in height. So we can actually let this thing sink down lower to the bench height, or we can collapse it a little bit, if you will, uh, and it'll actually elevate the plane. And for transport what works really really cool on this model is that it's firmly held in place if you're going to flat transport all we do is simply use one of these bungees i'll take that off so you can look at and then a piece of foam over the nose on both the front and the back so all this is is a um, double looped tie down that you can get from harbor freight and then uh, a piece of foam housing insulation wrap that over the nose and put it down. So a lot of planes anymore get transported without wings and instead of hanging them by the tail by something and damaging the foam, this is a great alternative. And then towards the end, I'm gonna show you how we fasten or tie this down that is super easy. So what do we need to get started here in this project? Number one, you're going to need um, pipe primer, PVC pipe primer and cement. You can pick them up in smaller bottles from your local hardware store. Very simple. We're going to need a couple pairs of scissors. You are going to need four. I use three quarters inch PVC pipe. Guys, you can buy them pre-cut from Home Depot or Lowe's for about $1.70 a piece. So total into this stand, we'll get maybe roughly 12 bucks or so. So get four of those and you don't have to cut them and they're already predetermined lengths. If you wanna make one bigger or longer, that that V and this V are longer or further apart, you can do that. You can just get your own and cut them to length. I have been searching up and down and ripping the house apart. I can't find my PVC cutter. Hey there guys, guess what I just found? I finally found my PVC cutter. So this is what it looks like. You can pick these up for roughly 15 bucks from Lowe's and this far beats using a hacksaw or a, you know, like a, a circular saw or chop saw or anything else. All you simply do is place this nice and flat in the groove and you just give it a couple squeezes till it sits, give it a cut, rotate a little bit, give it a cut and it's just hand pressure a little bit. Doesn't take much. And it gives you that nice clean cut all the way around, very precise, exactly where you want it. Fifteen bucks. Pick yourself up from uh, pick yourself up one from Lowe's for sure. We are also going to need four three quarter ninety degree elbows, and we are also going to need. Uh, I got my other one here flying around the other side of the bench. Four caps to go on the end. You are going to need four quarter inch washers uh, they can be steel or plastic whatever you want to use we're going to need um, two of these quarter inch um, self-locking nuts you are going to need four self-tapping screws you are going to need um, two of these I wound up using um, they're kind of like a, a chamfered body here and then threaded quarter inch bolts those things are to give you an exact measurement. Those things are two and three quarters inch long. And um, if you can find something that has the, the head on it like I used here, that is super ideal. And then uh, you're gonna need some Velcro strapping. Last thing, uh, three quarter PVC pipe insulation. Um, one piece of that will get you just enough. So let's get into how we build the airplanes. I like to use gloves. This PV, PVC cement and primer absolutely is horrible on your hands. So if you have gloves, go ahead and use them. We are going to need to prime all of these pieces. 
and that is very simple to do. You take your primer here, and we are going to get some of it off. You don't need to be making it. You can see there already it kind of splashed on my thumb. The stuff just, it winds up everywhere. Just take your pieces, quick wipe around the inside on those things. Just make them purple. And this stuff doesn't come off. Like whatever you make purple is going to be purple. So if you want your stand to look really nice, try and avoid getting the purple stuff all over the outside. This cleans and softens the PVC, so that way that glue really reacts with it. And once we glue things, you're not gonna have real long to work with them. So again, the PVC pipe, just to wrap around like that. And you wanna do both ends. And it's just best if you have a workspace just to do this all at one time. And I'm not, if you want your stand to come apart, you can skip this. This is, uh, gluing stuff is not 100% necessary, but it is really nice that, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. So it's up to you, just uh, an option. So literally, all those pieces are now primed. The first thing I am going to do is I am going to make the bottom feet. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to take your glue and you are going to put on two of these. So we'll get two out of the way here. We're going to put an end on there and there. And it's best to keep it flat on your work workbench so you know exactly where 90 degrees is. Um, I usually like to take one and one and do them do them that way. So I'll do one here at this bottom and one at that bottom. And again, you don't have a super long amount of time and you don't need a ton of glue here. We're not sealing this up to prevent water leaks. So just take your glue, a little wipe there, a little wipe there, and push and turn at the same time. And you'll feel it bottom out. That one's done. Let it sit. Again, don't need a ton of glue. You're going to take this one glue, bring this one in, glue, turn and push like that. You'll actually see the glue kind of push out and now we'll flip those. So we want to keep those things, if you will, you know, straight with each other. So as we do our next elbow, as I push it on and turn it, I want to be able to lay it flat here on this bench. slide this one out of the way so you guys can see again a little bit of glue a little bit of glue take it very quick turn put it on the bench just make sure that they're pushed nice and flat like that so they're even with each other and we'll let that one sit bring this one over A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. We'll take and push that one on, make it match. So there is our two legs, um, our base stand. That's how easy that is to get done. On the two that come up through here on this side, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue the caps onto these. So all we're going to do is take those two here like this. Like that. Take your caps. One there. We'll get our other one. One there. Turn. Turn. And those two are done. Let me grab my other two. All right, guys, I got my other two pieces and we're back. So just to clarify, because I miscounted with these two being behind me here on the bench, we need a total of six of those two footers. Um, 
on this project. And now we got the caps installed on those two. And I'm simply just going to add my caps on these last two here. Like this. There. There. Push that on. When you're using this stuff also make sure your area is well ventilated this stuff is kind of it's kind of stinky and now so you don't spill this we'll close up our glue especially i guess more of our primer get that out of the way we'll move our nuts bolts and springs off here to the side so now we're going to take our feet and we want to go ahead and install one of these on each side So we'll take our areas that are primed, a little glue, a little glue, push it in. And because you know your elbows are already square before the way we did it, you can't go wrong here. There's nothing you can mess up. A little glue there, a little glue there. And that one's done. Other one. All right, so this stuff dries rather quickly. We're now officially done with the glue and the uh, primer, so you can put that off to the side. Um, we can go ahead now and uh, get ready to put our pieces together. So tool-wise, you're going to need a, a drill and a quarter-inch bit, and let's get into drilling holes and mounting our base together. The nice part about these stands, guys, you can fully customize these if you want to. All right, so this is the, base, the basic premise of this stand. If you want a more wide base, you can literally pull these things this way and open up the top of the cradle um, so it has less of an angle, if you will, and a much wider base. And you can also pull this in this way to have a bigger V and a smaller base, depending on what you're gonna work on, and then that's where we're gonna drill these holes is based off of that. What I have found works best is we're gonna take this piece here and I'm gonna make two measurements with it. And I'm gonna mark it. And then we're gonna go center. So the first one is going to be a reference dot at two inches. And the next one's gonna be reference dot at nine inches. And we are going to do that on all four of these legs. The two inch reference is going to be for my Velcro strap. The nine inch is going to be for my stand for my screws. Now when these things fit together, after we drill our holes, we'll be able to place the bolt right through one of the legs through the other one. So let's go ahead and get the uh, drill out make some of these holes if you want it helps to drill a pilot you could drill it smaller if you wish We are going to take our bolt. Again, you can use metal or whatever washers you want to. We're gonna put that on there. We're gonna go through one leg all the way through. I'm gonna slide this one through there. Okay, so that's through. We're gonna put our washer on the other side. 
and just start that lock nut so it stays together. And now on this side, we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. We're gonna find our nine and come all the way through. All right, so we'll let it at that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our Velcro pieces and we're gonna Velcro this thing together, all right? And what we're going to do is take two pieces that are going to be fairly equal length to go from one side all the way over to the other. So you can make these whatever you want. There's no specific way. It depends how wide you want to go with this base. So we can go there. And then we will cut these. So you're going to need a total of four of them, whatever length you decide. So we want to make these all the same. Now with this Velcro stuff, it's easier if um, they have a hole to work with. So we can just go ahead and um, drill down through there or you can poke it, whatever you wanna do. Like I said, it's best to make sure that everything is the same and lined up. I'm just gonna make a small hole there. And that's to start our screws through. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. And go in a little bit, maybe about a half an inch, and I'll show you why as we, we cut these things off. So now you can take one of those strips off. You can put your self-tapping screw right through there. And you only need one per side. So we're gonna go ahead and take this thing now and we are going to, on those two inch marks that we made, we are going to go ahead and run those self-tapping screws into the inside. Leave them a little bit loose for now, and we'll take this stand, and we'll set it upright like this. And this is what you use to control the width. You can use chains and stuff if you want to, but I found out that Velcro works really, really well. And all you have to do with these straps is just take and paste them now together like that to control your distance. And again, you can make that longer, shorter, Depends on what you want to do. And now, while that's there, makes it easier to hold that side. And this side we will go ahead and place in. All right. So there's that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten up these things and you don't want to make these things super tight you just want them snug so 
So if you want to, you can run them all the way in until it is tight, um, but then you won't be able to turn it. But if you want it permanently, that way you can, I guess. And then I just turn mine off a little bit so that way the washers and stuff in there all have a little bit of movement. All right, guys, from here you can see we have our stand more or less built. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut our foam to length. So you can basically either just eyeball this up initially or you can make measurements, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and just take our scissors. Now I know some guys like to use pool noodles and stuff for this. You can use pool noodles as well if you want to. And one of the things that you're going to have to do when you do this is take a uh, X-Acto knife. And when you go to close this up, if you go to close it up anymore, some of that foam will rub together. So you may need to trim out that bottom piece, um, just depending on, on where you want to go with it. So here is an example of our A10 in the holder. So if this was sitting up too high for me on, on the bench and I wanted to bring it down a little bit, all I have to do is expand the base. So you just go ahead and hold your X, if you will, together so it doesn't pop on you. And then just lower this down using the Velcro straps and you can spread it and then fasten them back up. And then spin this thing back around again. And we're going to take the bottom side. Get you guys to see in there. And again, holding my X so it doesn't pop on me. We're just going to go ahead and take that. And we're going to let this thing sag down to a lower level wherever we want it and then just reattach our velcro and now the whole plane is sitting on a lower v on the bench so how do you how do you go ahead and attach this now so again i showed you guys the straps that you can use over the top of this thing and how do i hold it to the floor of the trailer i've included a couple pictures for you guys to see But basically all I am going to do is pick up a pack of these D-rings from Harbor Freight or wherever you want to get them from. They hold to the floor with two screws. You take one of those out of the pack. You screw it down to your floor here. And I will take you guys around so you can, you can see. We are just simply then going to take our bungee cord and we're going to fasten it to the D-ring. We're going to come all the way around this assembly and then come back on the other side and hook to the same D-ring again. So this thing is held in by a bungee that just comes up in loops right around the X of our plane. We're going to do it in the front and the back. And then again, it's held in by the nose and the tail support. And those bungees hold really nice under that holder. So um, overall, we're about... 15 minutes, 20 minutes to make a stand. You're about 15 bucks in. Don't think you can beat it. And if you want to, you can actually modify that thing onto a flat stand. So you can actually take something like, move this stuff out of the way. If you wanted to have a flat stand like this, some of you guys use bigger versions of that. You can go ahead and mount that thing right onto there with just some simple screws or some of those D-ring holders that have the, the cable work around on them. So they're just like latches or whatever. But there's a lot of easy things to do with this stand. And it does fit really well on a flight bench. And I will show you, here's some pictures.
and you can actually flip things upside down if you needed more rudder clearance here you could just squeeze the v together so the plane is held higher now you can work on it upside down or you can even build it depending on your plane with longer legs completely up to you very versatile very adaptable um, something i came up with to adjust quickly on the fly it works great i use it on a lot of my models especially stuff we transport that's round uh fuselages that doesn't have wings so i hope you guys enjoyed it go out build yourself a plane stand again brendan from just plain crazy if you like it give a thumbs up it always helps out the channel like share subscribe make sure you share the stuff it's a great idea a great concept here for a very very cheap and inex inexpensive uh plane holder just sharing and helping out the hobby uh again check out the merch store below if you guys haven't picked yourself up something from just plain crazy please do so helps out the channel immensely otherwise happy flights guys we'll catch you at the field peace out